Hi there. In this video, we are going to attempt a camo alcohol ink swirl. I'm going to use a couple of different colors, not very many. I've got olive green. This is a Bria Reese. I, I bought this with in a three pack. Brown, also available in a three pack, but I typically buy this as a single at Hobby Lobby. And then pinata black. And I'm still on the fence. I may throw in some white just to make a few lighter spots, but mm, I'm really not sure I'm going to do that. So I have about 15-ish milliliters on here. I didn't want it too runny because I don't want a ton, ton of movement until I heat it up and get it that way. Um, we'll see. It's going to be majority. I really don't like this color on here. Um, majority of this is going to be brown and black. But I do want some green peeking through. That's not really the brown or the green I want at all. Let's go ahead and grab the cobalt. This cobalt green should be a little easier to blend. I'll just go ahead and drop it right on there. Kind of let that take over. Now I know. I haven't used the olive green before. On a paper towel, it looks completely different. I was hoping it would be more like a khaki-ish. I'm not super worried about this green. On the last cup I did with this green, it took over. Holy moly, if you watch either of the rainbow uh, cup tutorials, the fail and the one I actually accomplished what I was trying to do, uh, it really took over the world. So I'm going to cover it pretty good with this brown. I don't want it completely obliterated, but my uh, main focus is going to be brown and black. <laughs> These um, Bria Reese inks come out so fast. It's crazy. I double tap all the time. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do of the brown for now. And we'll do a little bit of black. I intentionally overpowered the green with the brown. I really don't want a ton ton of that green. I'm also not going to go crazy with the black because it can also overpower very easily. Okay, one more drop there and one drop there to go over the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do just a couple drops of white. That's weird. It looks like white around that one already. Just because it's getting like a dry spot. And then it's kind of separating away from the cup. Okay. One last one there. And then one down the bottom. And let's go two down the bottom. Okay. So. That's all the color I'm going to add at least for now. I'm going to go ahead and throw gloves on just because sometimes this gets a little messy. And we're about to take this off of the turner. I'm not so sure how camo-y this is going to look. So I'm going to get my heat gun really quickly. And my mask. And we're going to heat this up a little bit so we get some movement. I've learned my lesson at heating this epoxy up without having a mask on. I regret it every time. 
to make it up just enough to get movement. I really don't want it overwhelmingly liquid. Got my heat gun about six inches away, maybe. Make sure when you use one of those, you don't put it down on something that tip can melt uh, or burn or catch on fire. So we're going to just up and down this. I don't have this on super thick on purpose. I do have some weird dry spots right there that really separated. I may have gotten it on too thin. So what I'm going to do is kind of pop those down. It's not going to move and swirl like it needs to with those super duper dry spots. There we go. Right there on the bottom is a big one too. That can happen even if you have more than enough epoxy on there. I've had it happen on every single cup I've ever done. Even after I let it spin for a while to make sure it doesn't have dry spots, I still discover dry spots. All right. That's pretty good. So now that I have it off, I'm going to heat it up a little bit more so I can manipulate it like I want. And I'll rotate it. I don't want to burn my epoxy, but I also don't want those big old clumps of color like that. Constant movement is key. If they're too... Uh, Still for too long, gravity takes over and does its thing. I think I'm going to regret putting the white on there. Let's see. It might look super cool when it's all said and done. You can kind of see some of that olive peekaboo in. too runny. That's okay. Still pretty cool looking. It's not going to be camo by any sense of the word other than color alone. But that's alright. Most of my alcohol inks are very, very girly and bright and colorful. I really did need an inventory cup that was um, a little bit more masculine. I keep an inventory at a local vendor mall. And the ink swirls definitely tend to move faster than the glitter cups, in my experience. That's not going to be the case everywhere, but that's my experience with that. So just constant movement to get that uh, manipulated like you want it. See, I've got a lot of color there. Kind of separating from the top here so i want to kind of hold it where that is at the base a little bit right, there we go i got one little drop that's kind of making the rounds yep that's pretty good i really like how that looks so i'm going to make sure not to have my heat source on this um, as this cures because if I have my heat source on it, it will definitely um, liquefy it a lot more than I want it to be. So I'm actually going to put this on the turner and then kind of, this is, sounds weird, I'm going to kind of blow on it so that it cools off a little bit faster um, just to kind of help halt the movement. Mm. 
I'm putting my mask on for my inhales. Okay, that's it. I'm probably not going to put a decal of any sort on this one. Just because I, I like how simple it is. Um, kind of looks like a chunk of rock you would see kind of in the desert. I just saw a super runny spot. Okay. I mean it this time. So I'm going to come back and take a small video of this in about 30 minutes or so. I keep saying one thing and then doing another. So I'm going to come take a video of it in about 30 minutes. Um, we've got a few little solo flex here and there. I'll see what those look like in a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's little flecks of the base paint or if that might be from the rim of my white because it was so uh, flaky. It may have dripped on there and I just didn't even realize it. It doesn't look bad. It's just kind of caught my eye. So we'll be back in just a few. Okay, so here is my no longer resembling camo in any form or fashion cup. It's still nice looking. Um, it's just... Once again, not what I was going for. So, recap. We used Bria Reese Brown, the Cobalt Green, after discovering that this was no good. So you can kind of see little bits of the olive peeking through. We used the Pinata Black and a little bit of white. If I do this again, I'll do very minimal brown and uh, very minimal black and zero white. We'll see. It's still nice. It's a good looking cut for a not so girly option. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, drop them. I'm trying to be really good at staying on top of that. Have a good one.